In earlier video, you have studied that organisms cope up with their surroundings in order to survive. This is called adaptation. Now let's study some adaptations from plants and animals. Students, what will happen if, just imagine if following things happen. Will fish stay alive without water? Have you seen a rose plant growing in pond or stream? Have you ever seen parrot or sparrow swimming in water like duck? Let's see one by one. If a fish comes out of water for a long time, it would die. One cannot cultivate rose plant in water as it needs soil to grow. Parrot or sparrow cannot swim in water like a duck. This happens because these organisms are away from their normal surroundings. These organisms are not adapted to the new conditions. So let's see which organisms can survive in the water. If you visit a water body nearby your house or school, you will see water lily, lotus, water hyacinth growing there. A variety of fishes, snails, tadpoles, ducks, etc. are also present in a water body. So have you ever thought that how is it possible for these organisms to live in water? The fact is that these organisms possess unique features that help them survive in water. Now have a look at some aquatic plants like lotus, water hyacinth, hydrilla, etc. Students, you can see that lotus and hyacinth float on water whereas hydrilla is submerged in the water. Now we will see adaptations to live in the water. Most of these aquatic plants have a layer of wax on their leaves and stems. Petioles of these plants appear like sponge because of air spaces. These helps plants to float in water by storing air. You will never see large sized plants growing in water. Aquatic plants are smaller in size and have ribbon like leaves and flexible stems. So they withstand currents of water. Students, can you tell me names of some aquatic animals? Fish, frog, starfish, octopus, duck, shark and many more. These animals either live in freshwater or seawater. Now I will tell you about their special characteristics that help them to live in water. Body shape of most of fishes is like a boat. This helps them to swim faster. Fishes have scales on the body so that excess water does not enter in their bodies. But scales are absent in frog. Frog breathes through skin when it is in water and fish has gills to respire. Fish uses fins to swim. The tail of fish works similar to the steering wheel of car. The tail fins are used to change direction. Duck is a bird but it swims in water. Body of duck does not get weight even if it is in water. There is oily substance on its body. Hence, water flows off. Also, if you see legs of duck, they have webbed toes or feet useful for swimming. So, students, you have studied in this video how plants and animals living in water adapt to their surroundings. There is a small exercise for you. Who I am? Choose the answer from the given list. Tortoise, shark, water, hen, lotus, etc. Question 1. My body shape is like a boat. Question 2. I swim in water but I don't get wet. Question 3. My feet are webbed. Question 4. I have flexible stems. Summary. Adaptations to survive in water are called aquatic adaptations. Flexible body, waxy coating on plant parts, boat shaped body, webbed feet in animals etc are some commonly seen aquatic adaptations.